Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we catch up with our coaches this week. And joining us is our women's basketball coach, Colin Lanham. And big weekend on the road. First time we've gotten a sweep out in KC since 2012. Two games that were just, I, I really want to say, all-around victories, all-around team effort, all the way, you know, start to finish. Yeah, no question. It was, uh, you know, a great game. Great games in, in terms of the heart and effort that the team put in. Um, weren't the best two games that we've played this season, but you know, anytime you can scrape together two wins on the road, it's a great weekend uh, in the GLVC. So, you know, I thought we showed a lot of heart. We battled through some adversity here and there, played through uh, tough patches, and were able to come out with a win. You know, anytime you, you, you take care of your business on the road in the GLVC, that's huge. But especially a Rockers team this year that, that's got probably one of the top players in the conference in Mary Deneen. We just did a really great job defensively against them. Yeah, and credit, Al credit Allie Ringring for that. You know, she was very good, especially late. Um, you know, in overtime, they had a, she had a couple of opportunities to get, um, you know, the ball was in her hands, had a couple of shooting opportunities, and Allie was just draped over the whole time. Uh, but I thought, you know, our team has been doing a lot a lot better job of not just being tunnel visioned on who they're guarding and, and our overall team defense has been a little bit better lately. You know, that's the one thing. And, you know, listening to the announcers for the other schools, which I, I had that opportunity this weekend, was just how they were talking about defensively. This is one of the better Maryville teams that they've seen defensively. And it shows in the conference stats we're number one in scoring defense. Yeah, and I think that it comes along with time. The girls are, are buying into everything. They're understanding why we're doing different things that we put in earlier in the year. And so, you know, when you have that buy-in, it's a lot easier to get the effort there. Uh, so, you know, we're going to continue to build on that and be perfectionists. We've played good defense. We haven't played our best defense yet. So that's great. Now, I think it's one of those – things that if we can keep teams in the 50s and 60s like we have been when we've won games, that's what's going to give us a chance when our offense isn't clicking. Now when our offense is, is on, you know, games like Lewis, things like that where we're shooting the ball very well, then that's going to really give us a chance to kind of stretch those leads out at times and, and put games away hopefully early. And the thing too is you're, you're getting balanced scoring. You know, you're getting what you expect out of Alley. Um, you know, Mary and Stephanie, but then you're getting, you know, Ponce that, that came up big on Saturday. She had some big shots and some big moments, but you're also getting that inside presence with Alex Wolf. And it just seems like, once again, collectively, it's meshing very nicely. Yeah, and, and you know, Carly and, and Kayla coming off the bench have been doing a real good job in terms of scoring as well. So we've been balanced. Ellen Foster's had a couple games where she'll have six or eight points. And so when we can get that, we're in good shape. And, and that's what's probably tough to scout, I would say, for our opponents is that we don't just have one or two threats who are coming out scoring 15, 18 points a game. We've got four, five, six even legitimate threats that can come out and put double-digit scoring games together. So you know, I think now that the girls know that they're playing for each other and to find their teammates better shooting opportunities, that's what's giving us, you know, the better shots and the higher percentage shots. You know, one of the goals that we have for a lot of our games is to try to get two assists on every three made field goals. If we do that, we know we're playing team basketball. We're giving up a, you know, a 40, 50 percent shot for a 60 to 70 percent shot. This weekend, the road trip continues. McKendry and Illinois Springfield, record-wise, you got to throw that away. We all know that it's tough to play on the road in the conference. And McHenry and Illinois Springfield have proved that this year. Exactly. And this is the time of year where everybody's kind of following the standings and everybody knows that games need to be won at this point so you can secure yourself a position in the GLVC tournament. And where, where McKendree and Springfield are right now, they need to get a couple of wins. And so, you know, these are games at home. And in league play, you want to win at home. That's kind of the, your goal is to, to defend your home court. And so we know they're going to come out guns blazing and, and trying to do what they do. Um, defensively, they do a lot of different things. And so that's what's going to be, you know, kind of our focus throughout this week is just making sure that we're prepared for whatever may come. And that way, when that adversity or change comes, the girls aren't panicking. They're expecting that and prepared. Out saying stuff, Colin, good luck, and we'll see you tomorrow night at McHenry. Thanks a lot, Jim. Colin Lanham, our head women's coach, joins us here on the basketball side. We will have coverage of both games this weekend. It will be the audio stream, www.glvcsn.com backslash Maryville, both from McHenry and from Illinois Springfield. You can also follow us on Twitter at Maryville Saints. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.